Heyo, Eo here, and welcome back to the modded Minecraft All the Mods. And last episode, whoops, too far. Oop, lag right there. Last episode, we built a semi automated tree farm. Well, I added a component in it to make it fully automated. <clears throat> and it, this is the planter here. This has a range upgrade of a six, or just has a radius increase to six, so I don't know the original radius. But you can kind of see how big it actually is with this giant dense thing of oak, which I need to fix right here, apparently. But yeah, that that uh, once the harvester c uh, cut down the trees, the planter would plant a new one in its place, and then once it grew, the vicious cycle would start all over again. Unfortunately, as you can tell, it's not doing anything. And that's because our poor little dinky little windmill over there cannot keep up. But anyways, uh, the harvester here would cut down the wood and the leaves, collect everything. The leaves would be sucked out of here and be put into there. And then everything else would be put into this chest here along with the sludge that builds up in here. We be put into here and then whatever this creates puts back into this chest. And we get different uh, assortment of things. I need to clear out some of my inventory. Actually, that's a pretty good pile. I'll keep that. Let's get rid of some of this junk here. But what I want to do with this, I want to redo this. We're going to work on some building and a little bit of uh, new power generation. And I'm going to try and explain and not go too overboard with it. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to redo this to where it's just the harvester. And then I'm going to dress it up a bit, um, make it look steampunkish. I'm going to try and hide the rest here. For this, I'm going to try and make a transformer with these two sticking out. Uh, actually, I put, oh, actually, that's, why is you on output? You should be on input. So we're going to dress this up, uh, put something over it, like a, a factory block or something with the chisel and bits. And then the wood that we get out of here, we're going to put onto a conveyor belt. It's going to come down to a sawmill. And what this is going to do is it's going to strip the wood or cut it in half, whatever the sawmill does. And it's going to put it into some kind of machine and it's going to come to here and probably get some kind of like a, I think it's called a quantum, quant, uh, quant, this here, the quantum entangle porter. And this may be a little tricky to do because we're going to have to get into some mechanism a little bit. Uh, unless I can find something else I can transport items, which I think actually Ender IO does it. Anyways, it's going to transfer logs from here. The conveyor belt's going to split into two different sections, which we have a conveyor belt that can do that. This here. We're going to keep some of the logs as building material, and then we're going to take the other half, and we're going to stick them through this here. I can't remember the Coke oven. Yeah, the Coke oven. It's going to put the wood into here, produce this into charcoal. Not only are we going to get creosote oil, which we can make more treated wood, which I do want to continue to build with, because I don't think I've ever used that for building. But anyways, the charcoal is going to be then sent from there, up into here, and to this power source here. So not only are we going to have our windmill, but we're going to have these here. Now these have a problem, and I'm going to show you that problem. Well, not necessarily a problem. It's just the current fuel source that we have now, which is unprocessed logs, and I got three of them, is that the logs burn up way too quick. And funny thing is, is we got to burn the logs to make the fuel source last longer. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna show you. They kind of burn through wood pretty quickly, which is why we need to turn it to charcoal. And hopefully this will kickstart our machines down there, which is what I want to do. So that goes into there, and then from there, sent to there, out to there, and hopefully everything is going well. And none of these are backlogging power. These are all full. Now let's go take a look at our chopper. Not a chopper, our harvester. My goodness. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand. Let's try removing that. Let's put you oh, you back. Okay, now you're working. Put you back. Ow. 
I had stupid sludge boiler. You don't even need to be on. Alright, well, so now that's working again. Yeah, and that's draining. That's draining quick. That's kind of satisfying to watch. So anyways, I'm going to cut here. I'm going to... What I'm going to do is build a little bit of a building here. Probably even on the ground. And then we're going to have to go... I actually, I think I have cows over there breeding. We're going to get conveyor belts. And then we'll dress this up a little bit. And then we'll start working on some power. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Shut it off. Alrighty, so it has been about a day since that last clip that you saw. I, I usually record my videos at night due to my work and things like that. So sometimes for Minecraft, for instance, it takes longer for me to record. But I did do a lot off camera. I did a lot of building. I I hopefully have a time lapse or some short bits of showing me you know, showing you guys bits and pieces of what I did so that it's not just one just giant cut of hey, hey look what I built kind of thing yeah. again I'm not the ba I'm not the best builder but part of this series is for me to step out of my comfort zone and try to build something that's interesting and decent something that I I never done before so let's take a look at what I did all right, so the goal was uh, I kind of combined two things together. Ooh, keep hitting my microphone. Two two things. One was there was supposed to be a water mill to uh, for excess power, something to generate along the power lines here to power the, uh, our farm up there and our automated tree farm here. The second thing was the saw sawmill, which I still kind of have to make the actual saw itself, but. That was to take the wood we got from our tree farm and to cut it, you know, the, the logs, to cut the logs 
and to use it as a fuel source to burn it into charcoal and then to take the charcoal and put it into our power supply, which we're going to work on here shortly. I kind of did about half of that off camera, but I think I have it to its somewhat functional to where we can move on to the power supply. So this is what I'm going to show you. So from here, first let's start with this. Uh, I have this shut off for a, a reason at the moment. Uh, so because I don't want to keep getting poisoned by that and I didn't want to get to get poisoned while working here. And here we have all types of different, or we have our wood and everything else. I haven't put a filter for this just yet. I don't know what to do with it really. I may just void some of this. Like we don't need mycelium. Soul sand is, is useful. The clay is useful. Probably not gravel. So we could probably avoid the netherrack, the gravel, probably red sand. I don't, I don't really use it much. And then there's like coarse dirt every so often. But this chops down the trees, puts it into here. The wood gets filtered out through here and it gets put onto a conveyor belt, which I will go show you. I will do a little demonstration. Boop, it gets put onto here. And it only does it like so many at a time. There was like a buildup, that's why that one's bigger. But just, and just look at a little bounce. Doop, doop, doop. I thought they used to connect, which would have been more aesthetically pleasing, but I guess not. So I technically need to add a saw, saw here, because it's technically getting cut up here as it's going along. Then I have it to where it splits. Some of it goes this way to be burned into here, and then some of it we're going to keep for building, which I wish I can control the amount that gets pumped out, but I can't. And I wish I could control the amount that gets put this way versus that way. And again, I can't, at least I don't know how. I, I haven't really, I, last time I messed with immersive engineering was back in 1.7.10. Anyways, it comes into here. It gets put into here. Any excess that gets, that can't be uh, smelted will get put into here once there's a stack. I probably need to put a bigger chest down there. But they get put into there. And then once that burns up and, and turns into charcoal, it then filters out and gets put into this chest here. Then the last step is to take what gets put into here and it goes into our fuel source up there. Whew, I hope you stayed with me with that because uh, <laughs> again, this is to be more aesthetically pleasing and to show like bits and pieces like this, you know, although at the same time, I'm not a big fan. Maybe I need to think of like a different way. Like I really wish this connected, but I try to put, uh, uh, what is it? Trodden's right there. Trodden cobblestone underneath it, but I guess you really can't see it. So it doesn't make much of a difference except for there. Yeah, but I wanted to be put into this. Um, so I, I don't know. I may dress this up a little bit more. Um, but I, I have uh wood here cause it's a, it's a wood mill sawmill. And then over here, I have this here. I, I may change this out and put like actual metal blocks, but it's supposed to be a pipe, a water pipe that pulls the water in from here, pulls it in from here, sucks it up, pushes it out and causes it to spin here, which is the waterfall here. Oh, I'm stuck in the conveyor belt. And that's what's generating our power. Matter of fact, I could probably do that. That slowed down or that speed it up. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's kept about the same. But again, even this is not enough for a tree farm. So, which I'm glad we're working on this. Now, at the same time, as much as I love this, um, I don't know. I kind of, I was originally going to just move the hillside back and make it look natural and then just stick this somewhere. But I was like, I kind of want it indented into the mountain. I may put a roof over this or I may just keep it open. I may actually, I, I want it to look like the, the wall was there to hold the dirt back, which kind of gives that feel, but I may replace it with fences. They may be a more pleasing kind of look take to give it to what I want. I was hoping for like railroad ties because I used to live uh, at a place with a lot of hills and that's what they did. They took railroad ties to hold uh, small parts of mountains back. Um, at least in my backyard, we had a hill that just suddenly dropped off and we had railroad ties that was holding it back while the rest of our yard was flat. So that's, that's kind of the look I was going for, but I didn't want the whole thing to be wood. So I 
uh, I don't know. I may I may work on this a little bit more off camera. But yep, yeah, that's that's everything I did so far. And believe it or not, it actually took a while to do this. Um, not only did I have to get the the stone, I have plenty of <laughs> oak wood now. I had to get three things of steel or two more things of steel because I already had a water wheel, and I put it into there. Uh, then I had to get the the leather for that, which this was not too bad. Thankfully, I, I was able to put looting on my sword. Wherever my right here, looting on my sword, so I got enough leather. So now let's go work on a power source, shall we? <laughs> enough with this. I don't know if I should turn this on. I I think what I might do. Thank you. Yeah, I might do that just to keep it from spewing out because this is this is pretty slow anyways like I said let's get on to the power source so what we're going to do is I really need to clean out my inventory all right I put it away let's get that oh not that uh, oh it's right in my inventory the entire time let's come up to oh stupid guardians jeez let's come up to here and we're going to make re redo this. I want a wall of power. So let's first clear up my inventory. All right. So let's go ahead and break that. Break this. Break that. Break that. And I think what we'll do is we'll even break that. Break all of this. This. Ooh. Come on, don't lag. Oh, it could be the conveyor belts. I didn't even think of that. So what we're going to do is da -da 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 -da. Hmm. Eventually we can get a painting machine. So I think for now Yeah, it might stick out a bit, but I think for now we're gonna just sit that there. That's a lot of mill buckets of water. <laughs> uh, anyways. We're going to stick that there and then probably have these come out one here. Okay, so it's it's got to be within within this, which is fine because we can go up and then have it all drain out. And then what we'll do is get this put to there. And then that way it can be behind this. Eventually I'm going to change this with um, Indrio conduits, but I just don't have the... To make the item conduits for Ender I need pulsating iron, and to get iron or pulsating iron, I need an Ender Pearl and iron, which I'm running low on iron, so I don't even know if we can do this without having to do a mining session. But eventually, it will all be like one thing. Now I'll have item conduits here and fluid conduits, actually. So uh, that's gonna fill all of these up now, and then on top of that, I don't think I have any. Yeah, but then from there we can wire the front up, which would look like a giant grid. So let's get more of these. Eventually, uh, we will get a mob spawner. I do have the portal over there. I am gonna probably next episode we'll work on that. It would be a mob dropper of sorts. We'll get a spawner and a drop of evil, and we'll start with that. And then we can eventually this farm here. Like, even if I just set all of this up, that will actually, now that I think about it, because I am lagging now, that is probably causing a lot of lag, just that itself. So if I have that constantly running with a whole bunch of entities just going through, eh, I, I may have it to where, like, it will send a, a redstone pulse, and every so often, like, a line of things will go through, so that way every so often you will see something go through, but maybe not constantly running. Oop. So let's get a steam dynamo up. Let's look into steam. Yeah, just stick with the steam dynamos. So we, we have a lot of copper, which is good. We're low on iron. We have some silver. So we're low on copper too. No. I have some copper here. I have a little bit of iron left. We'll get that yeah, we might have to 
This episode may not be very long if I have to do a mining session. So yeah, copper gear is just that. All right, let's do this. Um, let's do this. I think it's what three. Oh no, it's two copper gears. So done. Okay, so that's two. Let's do four. That's all I'm gonna do to make any copper any rust now. Oop, oop, that's four. Oh, yeah, I don't think I have enough. So you need silver and redstone. Let's see, tin, lock of tin, aluminium, electrum. Do I not have any silver? Oh, there's some silver. All right, and some redstone. Done. Okay, stop. Like that. Let's see. We'll make two. Like that. Gather. And do that. So there we go. We have two more steam dynamos. So that's even more power generation. Uh, I don't think we're going to have too much more. Because I think if we could start upgrading at that point. Probably get... Let's see. How many can we even fit here? Let's see. So we're definitely going to get two more. And I may just have two rows of that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six seven so we get 14 maybe 21 21 rows and i think that should be good and of course i don't have pipes on me <laughs> all right let's see i have some more pipes here we can do that and then they should all be yep now let's go and get some charcoal and i think we may add an extra step i love and then hate that thing same thing with my slime boots. I love them, but I hate them at the same time. I built a bridge. I barely use it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Doesn't help it if I just fall off. Oh, uh, goodness gracious. Yeah, we'll, we'll put like a whole bunch of more farms over here. I, I got to lower this one more and then add probably another one. Well, that's the first time I've seen this thing cleared. Wow. I got a lot of wood. Oh, goodness. Let's see. Yep, that's a lot of wood. Let's not stand too close to that. Um, oh, cool. Right. Okay, so one more step that I'm probably going to add to this. That's still going. Goodness. All right, good. Is we're going to take these and convert them into blocks. Because I think then... They actually last longer in the steam dynamos and they burn and produce more fuel. Darn, we're one coal short. Ha! <laughs> Bam. Now they all get three. Put that there. Right up. Sorry if this episode's gonna be long or short. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I really I really don't. <laughs> Sorry that the episodes lately have been weird too. I went on vacation last week and I came back and it kind of threw me out of my recording groove that I, I somewhat had going on. I'm still, still new to YouTube and everything, so I, I'm still trying to get a rhythm down. Oh, right, we have more than three, four, five. Ah, they all get one. Right up, right up. But I'm still trying to get back into the groove that I, I somewhat had going of sitting down recording on certain days. Uh, let's see, where's my, oh, right there. And trying to get it uploaded at a certain time. So again, I, I apologize for the weird video schedule. I need more uh, power conduits, which I think I do have a bunch before I run all the way back. I keep running back and forth. I need to get an ME system or something going. Do I have any of the cables on me? I do not. Good to know I actually made two chisels. Huh. We have my storage here. Uh, Bradley, let me in. My storage is getting a bit out of control. It's, oh, I only have six, really? What do I need to make those? I can conductive iron. That's stone and iron. Do I have any conductive iron? Nope. Ooh. I the six should be enough. I already have three up there. Yeah, I definitely need to do a a mining session of some sort. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take that. And we're going to stick you right on the middle. We're going to get that wire to there, to there. Now, if we take a look here. Up. Oh, I hate when that happens. Oh, come on. Okay. Yes, you're getting power. Oh, now you're losing power. Hey, I, I, okay, so it's hovering around 200 RF per tick. That's that's fine, as long as it's going up. That, that's that's all I care about. Is, as long as it's going up. See, so yeah, look, this one had two blocks of charcoal in it, and it's still got one. So yeah, definitely, definitely we're going to convert the charcoal into blocks because they do last a whole lot longer. Now we're just going to... I'm smelting up some glass. Yeah. I'm putting my power... See, this is why we need to upgrade our power, which I want to, like I said, I want to get two more and actually upgrade those to the hardened. And then again, probably next episode, we'll get a blaze farm, which will be a constant fuel of this and unless we can get the blast furnace first which I think that's faster if not then I'm gonna have to get like a redstone furnace or something to convert it into charcoal but then if like once we get this all set up we can get a passive fuel source and so on and so forth and then we can progress even further yeah because I feel like <laughs> I haven't been making that much progress there's just a lot of infrastructure which is what we need we need a lot of infrastructure to get things going and I think I think in the next couple episodes we're probably just gonna do some building um, to make to pretty this up a little bit more and I'll, I'll probably do some actual building on camera instead of cutting and then showing you that so well I think that's all the time I'm gonna have for this episode again I don't know how this is gonna turn out um, I don't know if it's gonna be long or short I do ramble a lot we'll see how much gets cut out <laughs> anyways Thank you all so much for watching my videos. If you liked it, let me know and leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. I try and record and post videos. Uh, I try to post videos every Tuesdays, uh, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.